Hey, what's up? So, I was playing on the beta, I finally got the invite, so I was, uh, I went to the beta server, downloaded the whole thing, and I started playing, I specced my shaman, did all my bars, and, uh, yeah, I tried some PvP on the servers, the beta servers, and it was really confusing, there's, like, so many new spells or new abilities, it's just really confusing to understand what's going on, but uh, I'll show you, uh, a few PvP clips that I was able to get. Um, one thing you'll notice is that, yeah, I'm fighting a lot of monks in this PG. This was the, this was the first night where they actually allowed monks to PvP. They they allowed uh, 85 monks transfers. So, yeah, I'm fighting a lot of monks, and you'll notice that they're extremely squishy. Uh, they don't have as much gear as I do for my character. That's probably why. But I mean, regardless, they have like very little control. Their damage is pretty bad. Uh, they die really fast. I don't have any like crazy defensive abilities. Um, well, that's for now. So you see right here, I drop capacitor totem, and I recall at the last second to get a stun. It's pretty weird. The, the stun radius is very short. Uh, it takes a, a little bit of practice to get used to it. And also, um, now lava burst procs. Lava surge procs gives you instant cast lava burst. So I get a lot of those, and it's very different. Right now on live, lava burst is like the huge thing. It's like the burst at the end of your rotation. But um, it seems like uh, on the beta servers, it's more or less just like an instant spell you use once in a while. I mean, you get a lot more burst from lightning bolt, at least when you get lucky and you get tons of crits and mastery procs. And fulmination also, it's really hard winning crits. But yeah, we'll have like more abilities at level 90, so I'm hoping this is gonna be even better than lava burst. The, the last tier in the talent tree, it's mostly focused on DPS. We'll just have to wait and see. We can't try them now because uh, they're only for level 90, so we can't pick the talents yet, but it'll be soon enough. Also, like it seems people aren't just dying that much, but I think this is because there's a lot of healing monks around. Like that green stuff you see, that's probably heals for monks. I don't really understand how they work, but it seems like it heals for a lot. No Brazil monks, they're just dropping really fast, but um, I'll be fighting some targets with higher Brazil. You see I draw a capacitor totem, I go for a recall, and I get a full 5 second stun. And that's actually good when you can land it, but honestly I, I tried the other talents, I'll show you later on, and I think the other options are just way better. Uh, the relocate talent isn't that amazing. Um, here I use nature swiftness, or ancestral swiftness and drop Earthquake. Earthquake is free, it's not a talent, so you get it baseline. And it, I mean, it's it's alright, but I think I won't do that anymore. NS Earthquake on a 1 minute cooldown, it's not, it's not worth it. I don't even think that, that Ancestral Swiftness is that great. Probably go with Elemental Mastery, it's way better. I'll show you later on. I drop a Fire Elemental, you'll notice that it's not, it's not a Guardian anymore, it's actually like more like a pet. It follows you around wherever you go. It just comes with you and it attacks whatever you're on so it's pretty good just like a monk just beating on my elemental um, but the, the thing is if you have a fire elemental down you cannot drop another fire totem it'll override it it's still like a totem but not completely it's weird maybe it's just glitch for now maybe it'll change I don't know but I mean for now it's that's the way it works So hunter, hunters are really squishy, but they do this one ability where they summon infinite pets. It's probably a bug, but it's really annoying. Yeah, this is what happens when when you get chased by monks. I mean, one monk is no big deal, but like when you have six monks on you, it becomes a pretty big deal. Yeah, it takes six of them to kill you. They're pretty good though. So as you can see, like all the monks are last in the scoreboard. So terrible. But I mean, it's understandable. Nobody really knows how to play them. They're like a new class, so 
But you still gotta get used to them. All the cooldowns and everything, so like complicated to use. It's just so different. So this is my spec as you can see. I'm also specs for spec for ancestral guidance, which is a cooldown that heals me for 40% of the damage I deal. And uh, it's actually surprising. On a two minute cooldown, it's up a lot and you can use it really often. It's actually pretty good. It's probably the best in its tier. And uh, healing Titanium, if you're wondering, is not that great. I'm going to do the relocate uh, capacitor totem thing again here. It's not going to work. It's kind of hard to do, like I said earlier. Spirit Walker's Grace. Yeah, shamans are still running turrets. They have like extreme, well, elemental shamans. They have extremely good uh, DPS on the run, especially with those instant cast uh, lava surge procs. Really helpful. But, um, yeah, it just seems like it doesn't really hit that hard. Against no Brazil, it's really good, but everybody has like so much Brazil. Damage is pretty nerfed. Passer totem again. I I didn't intend to drop it there. I'm just like so used to dropping my totems every time I have them, every time I encounter someone. But this is the big difference. When you start playing this version of WoW, I mean the the big difference is you don't have totems to manage. You only have very few totems, and you don't want to drop them as soon as you encounter. You want to drop them at specific moments. You gotta think before you drop them. So yeah, it's a little confusing at first. See, I just dropped totems because I'm used to it, but, I mean, it's just Searing Totem, it's really terrible. I mean, maybe they'll buff it, but it's not really good right now. There's no point to dropping totems unless, unless you need, like, a, a buff totem on a long cooldown or something. Hey, rocket Boots are still working. It's pretty good. I don't think uh, pets actually get resil because I'm going to global this bear. So much damage. Here's some monkeys like spinning. 38k lightning bolt, just kidding. So an S earthquake again. It's actually not that amazing. I don't know if uh, monks can interrupt. I'm gonna try it right there. He just rolled back to me. I'm gonna juke the first hex. I don't know if he kicked or not. I have no idea if once I have interrupts or not, but uh, yeah, I did it, whatever. And I'm gonna drop Earthquake again here, just testing out like control. I'm rooting into Capacitor Totem, but I mean, we're, we have like six people on him, so he's gonna die anyways, but just wanted to try it. Uh, you'll notice that Earth Grab Totem, is, it's the new Root Totem, it's on a 30 second cooldown, so yeah, it's really different. It's not as reliable as it used to be, you gotta think well where you want to place it because it can root multiple times um, but yeah you just gotta like place it well somewhere where you want to be kiting around so it'll proc multiple times it's weird how monks can like roll to you but it's not like a warrior charge you can still like cast while they're rolling it doesn't like stun you or anything so it's not that amazing to be honest I think roll is gonna get buffed because it's really not that good that roll spell by the way that I'm talking about is the, the spell that monks used to like leap forward, it's like a roll. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a Boomkin. Uh, I think Boomkins are honestly the best class in this version of uh, of the beta. They're just so strong. They have so much utility. It's amazing. They do a lot of damage. It's just casting on me. And here I'm like out of mana. Yeah, mana is still an issue. It sucks. That druid just did like a. Little typhoon thing, I don't even know. It like grips you to it. It's really annoying. It's like amazing for the drip to like use it to peel off himself. It, it's really helpful. It works really well. Extremely reliable. And there are like six people on me. I use an astral shift, I think. Or it's on cooldown. But I mean, I'm out of mana, so there's really not much I can do. And uh, yeah, I didn't really like being out of mana at that point, so I started looking around for glyphs or whatever. To try to figure out some way to keep my mana but yeah it's not so easy 
I don't know what's up with mana, but I'm, I'm sure it's not final. That panda just put me asleep. That's weird. I can usually tremor that, but I don't think it's worth it. So later on, I'm, I tried um, a glyph that... It's the the Teleric Current glyph that rest of shamans have right now in the game. It's a talent right now in the game. Uh, it makes it so when you cast Lightning Bolt, you get mana back, but it also uh, removes some of the Lightning Bolt damage. So yeah, I just tried it for lols, but it's not that good. You don't want to use it. You don't really have that many options for your glyphs. I mean, two of them are mandatory. You need the Ghost Bolt glyph and the, the one that lets you cast uh, Lightning Bolt while running. It's not mandatory, but it's really good. And the third one, you can pick up whatever you want, I guess. I picked up uh, Thunderstorm. Glyph Thunderstorm, which reduces the cooldown by 10 seconds. But, I mean, it's not mandatory. You could also get, like, Glyph of Purge, which uh, doubles the, the purge effect that removes two buffs. I don't know, it's, it's debatable, I guess. There's like no cookie cutter spec. I don't know. So right there, I drop capacitor totem. I'm just ready to like relocate and blow up people, but actually, it's not gonna work because nobody's just waiting by, so it was a waste. But I mean, it's still pretty cool. You can do like cool tricks like that. That monk just got global. Yeah, monks are definitely squishy. That rogue has like a little bit more Brazil. It's not taking damage damage. Brazil is pretty big. I think it's like 50% right now. 50% damage reduction or something. And plus, there's like two separate stats. You have like resilience and PvP power. PvP power is like the opposite of uh, resilience. It increases your damage done to other players, um, which isn't in the game right now. So uh, that's probably why resilience is so powerful. Got buffed. Uh, it's like a king's version of the, the monk. It's weird. Yeah. Later on, I tried um, Echo of Elements, which is like the the talent that gives you a chance to double your spells. So it's pretty much like the mastery, except it's better. But the thing is, uh, I don't think it's in the game right now because I didn't see a single proc. So yeah, I'll try it later on. But uh, until they implement. Echo of Elements, I'm pretty sure Elemental Mastery is the best option. I mean, uh, Ancestral Swiftness is, isn't is that great. Maybe it'll be good for Arenas for Instant Cast Hex, but that's about it. The thing is, you can't really use it to heal yourself because uh, they removed all the, the healing spells for Elemental Shaman. You only have Healing Surge, it's the only spell you have. and I mean, it's 1.5 second cast, it's not really worth using with Ancestral Swiftness, that's kind of like a waste, but, uh, yeah, it's up to you, I guess. Uh, notice how, uh, you know, the new clear casting thing, whenever you get a clear casting stack, it also increases the healing done by your next healing spell by, I think it's 40%, not exactly sure, but it's a lot, it makes a huge difference. So yeah, you can use those defensively. You just lava burst, get two stacks, off heal, off heal. It's really powerful. And also it reduces the mana cost, obviously. So it's uh, it's a lot more mana efficient. And there, speaking of mana efficiency, they also uh, buffed Thunderstorm, uh, which uh, gives you an extra 15% mana returns. Well, a total of 15%, it's really good. It's a big difference actually. But then again, I still run Oom, so I need to like figure out what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, this is a game where everybody seems to be geared, except like a few players. But most people are geared, and I actually end up fighting people like DKs and Boomies. I chase them around, and we can't kill each other. Brazil is just too high. Like this DK is gonna chase me for like a good 10 minutes. About 10 minutes, more like 4 minutes. And there you see I just wasted capacitor totems because I'm so used to just dropping totems when encountering people. But this is actually a mistake because uh, you don't have totems to drop. They're not buff totems, they're just utility totems. So yeah, wasted capacitor totem there. Uh, that game I was playing with the little stone cloud totem. So I don't have uh, ancestral uh, astral shift. 
which is my defensive cooldown. I only have uh, Stone Bulwark Totem, which is pretty much like Stone Claw, but um, it's not that good. The thing is, uh, you need to drop it 30 seconds straight to get the full benefit from it. But, I mean, you're going to have to drop other totems like Tremor or Earthbind or whatever, so uh, the odds that you just get to keep it down for 30 seconds straight, especially while you're under pressure, and then are like zero. You're, it's not it's not viable it doesn't work so yeah uh, it's not exactly the best defensive spell you're better off uh, with uh, ancestral shift astral shift my bad astral shift it's definitely better so yeah you see this DK he's not even blood he's just uh, frost I believe um, I don't even know yeah frost uh, but yeah, you see he's not taking damage. He's uh he's, he's got a lot of resil. Yeah, that's the thing with the new talent. Well, I, I don't have um totemic relocation or whatever in this game. I have another one. It's called uh, uh It's called totemic restoration. And there you can see there's a hunter with a million pets. Wow. Yeah, that game, I don't have Totemic Projection. I have Totemic Restoration, which is, uh, uh, every time my totem gets destroyed, I get 50% of the cooldown off based on the duration lost. So, uh, you'll notice that it's actually amazing. I'm not really used to it. I don't drop grounding as much as I should be using it. Um, especially considering my bars are all, like, messed up. I'm not used to playing like that, but, um, having this talent allows you to just drop grounding so often like every 12 seconds pretty much so yeah it's a, it's a really good talent that's probably the best one in the game right now yeah I told you earlier boomkins are like extremely powerful right now in the game and this is an excellent demonstration this boomkin is kiting us he's like shifting to travel from running away he drops this uh, little vortex thing it's gripping us back we have like six people chasing him he's hard casting heals and they just heal for so much. He's back to like 80% within a few globals. I'm chasing him with rocket boots. Water walking. It's a good thing I'm a running turret, but it's not enough. It's The main problem is probably just the Brazil scaling. But I mean, overall, Boomkins can kite you. This is a sad truth. I think he's gonna do that vortex thing again soon. Oh, I pop fire elemental just for extra DPS, but it doesn't matter because I can't get to him. He gets locked out of healing school. There it is, the vortex again. It's gonna grip me. Yeah, there's nothing you can do, it just grips you. And plus, the funny thing is, he's going offensive on us, he's popping starfall as he's running away I don't understand I mean if this goes live boomkins are gonna be excellent RBG tanks okay maybe not but just druids in general will be I think he might die here no just kidding but it's alright, eventually we'll kill him. Oh, so much passive healing and so many like speed increasing effects and passive heals. There it is again, green vortex. There we go. Well, that's it for now guys. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll be posting again soon uh, another video with like more organized content. But until then, feel free to subscribe for more and thanks a lot for watching. Peace out.